Oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I using baby like a muse. Play them like the ones and toes. Bow, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chatty Bobby. Oh, little buddy. And we are back with another list video for you guys today. It is my 15 most versatile fragrances in my collection. This is my list, this is my opinion. There's no right or wrong answer with these. It's whatever you feel, you know what I mean? Are your favorites and what you like and what you don't like. Everybody's different, you know what I'm saying? So I've got 15 here for you. Now these are some that I feel like you can kind of use in any setting, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's um, fresh out the gym, fresh out the shower, work, date night, you know, whatever it is that you are putting on a fragrance for, I feel like you could go to the shelf, grab one of these 15 for any situation and you'd be good. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, y'all be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Let's get it going. The first one I want to talk about is one that's newer to my collection, but I really, really dig this one. And that is Boss Bottle number six. Um, I like all the Boss Bottles that I've got so far. The other, two, the two other two that I've tried on my skin are um, Unlimited and Tonic. Like both of those scents, they don't last long at all. Tried this one yesterday, works great. Works great. Um, you get vanilla, plum, oak moss, lemon, bergamot are the notes. And this is just a, it's a like a light fragrance, you know, as far as like it's not too crazy. Um, I feel like you can wear it whenever. I mean, it, obviously I'm gonna feel like way for all these, but this one, now I don't have intent yet, it's on the way. So, but as I'm, as I'm making this video right now, Boss Bottle number six, I really dig this one, man. And, and, and again, these, I mean, you can get the 100 milliliter bottle for like 30 bucks, man. And these, ball, like the Hugo Boss Bottle stuff, it, all of it smells great. I don't have one that I don't enjoy, but of the three that I've got to try out on my skin, I really like this one the best. And I feel like this is one that you could you could rock it any setting, man. You go to work and use it. You may have to reapply it, depending on how long you're working. But I dig it, man. Boss bottle number six. Let's keep it moving. The next one we're going to talk about, I haven't shown any love to in any of my videos yet. And I think this is a really good fragrance. When you have, when I buy so many, some of them just get slept on at first. So I finally give them a try out. And that is Mont Blanc Legend. This one is great. Um, lavender, bergamot, lemon, uh, verbena, pineapple, and uh, cumarin. This one, let's give it a little test and see here. A little another test here in the little cap. Man, this one's got a little bit more of a grown and sexy vibe than Boss Bottle Number Six, but even though it's got a grown and sexy vibe to it, definitely one you could you could do how you know however you want to do it. The stay power on this one's about with me. It's about four hours, four to six hours. Um, but I love it, man. It's another one that's it's got that that grown and sexy appeal to it, but it's not too forward and not too intense to where you can really only rock it for you know, occasions like that. This is one that you can do in any setting, man. And that's Mont Blanc Legend. I dig it. Next one. The next one, man, it's a beast, man. I know it's a very talked about fragrance. Everybody talks about it. This one actually gets some hate, which I mean, I love it. Paco uh, Rabanne 1 million, again, very sweet fragrance, grapefruit, mint, blood orange, rose, cinnamon. But hey, smell like a snack. Whether you want to smell like a snack at work, fresh out the shower, you coming back from the gym. Again, about four to six hours for me. This fragrance smells so good, man. It's such a sweet fragrance. It's probably the probably the most like like the, the sweetest fragrance that that I have in this list. But you can't ever go wrong with Paco Rabanne One Million. I need to get the flankers. I know there's Privé and there's um, Lucky, I think. Definitely need to snag those at some point, but pack over by one million, man. It's a very, very versatile fragrance to me. Let's go. Another very versatile fragrance to me is Polo Black by Ralph Lauren, man. Ralph Lauren, how you gonna say it, man? I'm a country boy from Tennessee, let me alone. One of the first fragrances I got, one of one of the those kind of fragrances that if you're starting a collection, I think you need to get start, you know, to get start out. I know this is a versatile fragrance very well because I used it when I first got my collection. I only had three bottles. So I would rotate this and then a couple other ones that we'll talk about. 
And I love Polo Black, man. This one's got mango, tangerine, lemon, tonka bean, and sage. So it's got that fruit. It's got that citrus vibe, but the tonka bean mixes it together to where it's the blend on it is so good. This is a compliment beast for sure. Um, I'm a big Polo fan, but Polo Black is one of those ones, man, that I think you need to have. And uh, it can do whatever you need it to do, man. So Polo Black by Ralph Lauren. Let's go. This next one is by Yves Saint Laurent, which y'all know I love that one. I didn't go with any of the Lahomes with this one. I decided to change it up some, and man, I love this fragrance, dude. It smells so amazing. Um, and that is Yves Saint Laurent, why? This is the toilet, not the parfum. I need to get that one. Oh, man. One thing about Yves Saint Laurent, all the ones I have, I think I have six bottles from them. Right off the rip, when I smell an Yves Saint Laurent fragrance, I know exactly that's who it's from. Like, they've got that signature scent. You know, they've got all kinds of different variations, obviously. This has got bergamot, ginger, sage, geranium, cedar wood. It's going to be one of the higher end ones in this video, but it, it can do anything, man. Again, I've worn this fresh out the shower, getting, you know, just chilling. I've worn this at work for hours. You can kind of do whatever you want to do with it, man. And, and again, oh man, I can't quit smelling this fragrance. I love it, dude. I need to get the toy, uh, the parfum though, just to kind of see the differences and compare them. But Yves Saint Laurent Y Toilette, fire water, son. It'll do you right, bull. Let's keep it going. The next one, man, I talk about it all the time. There are probably, people are probably getting tired of me talking about it, but it's a fucking amazing fragrance. Mandarina Duck Black. I mean, even though it's a like polo black it's a black fragrance you know which a lot of times means like grown and sexy more of a you know like a, a certain vibe i feel like polo black and mandarin duck black both are amazing fragrances that you can wear any time of the year you can wear you know any time for any setting you know that's another thing about these versatile fragrances i feel like they are year round you know what i'm saying i feel like you can wear them year round um me personally, again, you got tangerine, bergamot, Indian pepper, tonka bean, vanilla, and tobacco. Now, this has just got it. Man, look, they know what they're doing. And, and the, the good thing about these, man, these are so affordable. This is like 25 bucks, $23 for the 100 milliliter. It does not smell like a cheap, it's not a cheap fragrance. It doesn't smell cheap at all. It's got a very sweet smell to it, but it's not too sweet. Um, I know a lot of people think that sometimes Paco Rabanne is too sweet. I don't, obviously, because it's in my list. But Mandarina Duck Black, man, give it a shot if you hadn't already. Um, it's one of those sleepers, I feel like. But definitely year-round fragrance. Let's keep it moving, man. The next one, I could have done several of the Giorgio Armani Aqua de Gios. I could have done Profondo, Profumo. I could have done the OG. But I changed it up because this is a beast right here, man. And that is Armani Code, man. Love it. Bergamot, lemon, uh, anise, uh, olive blossom. Uh, you got wood scents in here. This one, boy, boy, boy. Oh, man. This was my scent of the day. Um, yesterday, this is being uploaded on a Sunday, so Saturday was my scent of the day. Uh, later on in this evening, you'll see my, my weekly fragrance rotation. It'll, I'll be talking about this more, but I'm telling you, man, this one right here, definitely versatile for sure. Got great stay power. Um, I got almost eight hours from this. I sprayed about four sprays because I wasn't sure you know, how many I needed to spray. But Armani Code, definitely one that you could use any time of the year. And it's versatile for sure, man. Whoop. What kind of a list video from Chatty Bobby 1130 would it be if I didn't put an L1212 flanker in here, right? We all know L1212 Blanc is my absolute favorite fragrance in my collection. I love all of them. But most versatile year round, I'm gonna switch it up. You obviously could use my Bl uh, L1212 Blanc. But another one that I feel like you could use year round from L1212 is Rouge. I think Rouge is great, man. Um, this one you got, you got some tea fragrances, looks like, or scents. You got Mandarin Orange, Mango, Pepper, Cardamom, and Woody Note. Um, I love this one, man. And, and again, Pinky out. Golly, that. It's similar to this one. I think it's the better version of this one. Um, but I just love this one, man. And again, the L1212s, 
I feel like this one. I feel like Blanc. I even feel like Fresh. You could really well no Fresh is more. Fresh has got more of a summer vibe to it. But I just feel like this is very versatile, man. I've used it multiple times. This is another one I had from Scent Burr when I first started. Um, and I love it, man. Again, it, the blend of it is very good. L1212 lines, they do such a good job. You know, they all have their own own lane with the L1212 flankers. And L1212 Rouge is another one that I don't really hear people talking about. Um, but I love it. It's like a $30 fragrance for 100 milliliter. And you can wear it any time of the year, any time of the day, bro, for any occasion, in my eyes at least. So, L1212 Rouge. So here's another one, man. Mainly been talked about as like a, a club fragrance or a date night fragrance. But this is one you can use any time of the year to me. That's uh, John Paul Gaultier. Uh, Gaultier? I don't know. I, I, I'm a country boy, man. What are you missing? <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, uh, uh, this is Lamal. Now, this is the just the OG. Um, this one, you got mint, bergamot, lavender, artemisia, cinnamon. This is another one that I was sleeping on when I first got it. I was like, man, it smells like it smells too sweet. And then I had not applied it to my skin. I just applied it to the paddles, the testers. And this is a beast, man. I get, I get like eight hours worth of uh, time on this one. And it gets tons of compliments. It's a compliment grabber for sure. Um, even though it's got that, that cinnamon, like bubblegum-ish scent to it, I feel like it's one that you could wear whenever. You know, um, you can wear it for date nights. You can also wear it to work. You can, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. I feel like in the winter time you could rock it because um, it's got enough stay power where it'll power through that that cold weather and the, you know all that stuff. And then it's a great summertime fragrance. Um, here in Tennessee, we used to get four seasons. Now we really only have two. We have summer that lasts from like April to September, and then we have or April to October, and then we have like winter. We don't really have a fall anymore. We used to. But, uh, yeah, man, Lamal, I dig it. I had to put this one in here, man. One of the favorites in the collection. If I did it, you know, I'm going to do a top 20 um, probably later on in the year, towards the end of the year. Um, and this is going to be in it, I'm sure. Burberry Touch, man. We all know how great it is. Um, Artemisia, Violet Leaf, Mandarin Orange, Nutmeg, White Pepper. Just, excuse me, just damn near I don't want to say a perfect fragrance because there's no such thing but to me this is very close to that it just does everything and Burberry Touch it's such a, a you know a popular fragrance right but I just feel like it's that way because it's that good I mean you can literally rock this all day every day and it's it's one of those ones any of these are like that to me i think they could be with them being versatile i i think you could rock them every day obviously for anything but burberry touch is just amazing it it's got a scent too that's very distinguished i don't feel like it smells like as far as what i own it doesn't smell like anything else that i own which is always good um to have its own like unique unique vibe and burberry touch is amazing man if y'all don't have this one this is like 35 bucks, uh, 34 bucks on fragrance snap for the smaller bottle. It's like, it's about like that. It's like a hundred milliliter. Oh no, no, it's this one. It's this one. Sorry, my bad. It's this one for 33 bucks. Definitely worth it, bro. You could rock this day in, day out. It'll do, it'll do the job, man. That's Burberry Touch. Let's keep it moving. All right, now this next one, I easily could have put Versace Signature here, but I always talk about Versace Signature, Signature, Signature. But I wanted to give this one some love because I feel like this one, some people probably get more of a summer vibe from this, but I think this is a great one. And this is another one from Versace and that is Fresh. Um, I think it's very, very like light, very citrusy. Um, see the notes in this, bergamot, Brazilian rosewood, cardamom, lemon, uh, carambola. Definitely get the lemon. But again, this is one that I feel like is a utility player, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it can, it like Signature, you know, it's, and I love Versace. It's some of my favorite stuff. The Eros, the Eros Flame, the, uh, the Oud Noir. Um, you know, I, I love Dylan Blue. I love Versace. But a lot of those, I don't, as good as they are, I don't think they're, they're you know, year round stuff. This one in Signature though, I think they are. I mean, I. Smells so good, man. The lemon, and then you got the bergamot, and then you got those that woodsy scent mixed with it. 
I love fresh, man. It's a newer one that I've had for a few weeks, but the, uh, the times that I've tried it out, I really dig it. And I, I get why it gets talked about so much. You know what I'm saying? So that's another one that I feel like is a very versatile fragrance that is Versace Fresh. So let's keep it moving. Next one, here's one that is gonna get deemed, people are gonna be like, why'd you put this in here? It's a summer fragrance. To me, it's you can use it all the time. I love it, and it is the OG Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. Um, very, oh God, it smells so good, man. Mandarin, grapefruit peel, bergamot, juniper, rosemary. Definitely has the summer vibe with the light blue. I get it, but it smells so good, man. And it's such a it's such a heavy hitter as far as popularity. I need to get a bigger bottle. Um, I noticed that it's getting very difficult to find the intense. Um, I grabbed a backup bottle of that just to have. It's on the way because I don't know if it's I don't know what's going on with that, but it's kind of fun. There's a lot of stuff on FragranceSun.com that's sold out right now. I don't know if it's because of, you know, uh, Roan, Rona, but uh, you gotta be careful on what you say about that because that will demonetize your video with the quickness if you even mention it. But Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, even though, you know, Light Blue being, it's more geared towards summer vibes, this is a day in, day out for me, man. You could, I love it, man. It smells amazing. Everybody knows how good Light Blue smells, but I love all the Dolce Gabbana Light Blues. So I feel like this is one that you could rock, man. You could rock all the year, all the, you know, all the year, all the year. You could rock all year. Um, I love it, man. Light blue OG. The next one, man, this is a heavy hitter. Definitely a top 20 fragrance for your boy right here. And that is Coach for Men. Pear, Bergamot, Vetiver. Uh, what's the other ones? Pear, uh, uh, Vetiver, Bergamot, Kumquat, Cardamom. This is incredible, man. Let's put it in the air, bro. Let's put it in the air, son. Boy, man, that pear, I'm not a big fan of pear, the fruit. I just feel like it's blah, you know what I'm saying? But the way they mix it in here with this other, with this kumquat and bergamot, oh, and the everything, man, this is an amazing fragrance. And this is another one. As great as it smells, it smells very expensive to me. It smells like a million bucks. It's like less than $40 fragrance, man. Um, and it is a day in day out heavy hitter. I got buddies that this is all they rock is coach for men and I get it I get it same with Burberry touch same with Dolce Gabbana light blue. You know what I'm saying? This is a beast It'll get you all kinds of compliments year-round. I can definitely see Anybody rocking this year round. You know what I'm saying coach for men, man We got two more Let's get it Next up is one that's relatively new a few weeks out, but this one is a beast, son, and it can do everything. It's got citrus, it's got leather. What else we got in here? Um, vetiver, violet, you get a little bit of everything, and that is Ferragamo, man. Boy, this one right here is a problem, son. This one is a problem. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Ferragamo is a beast, man. It can do anything you need it to do. Um, the stay power on me is about six to eight hours. Um, I'm getting to be a big fan of Ferragamo with the Essential Aqua Blue with this one. Um, I like F Black. It's a solid one too. Um, I'm getting, I need to, I got uh, Uomo on the way too. So stay tuned for that. But um, this one's a problem, man. And this is another one that is a, this could be an easy everyday, day in, day out fragrance. Um, definitely great for work because of the lasting power and the smell is great but it just blends everything well the citrus the leather I love it man that's Ferragamo the last one is another one let's talk about it man this last one man beast kind of gets slept on it's newer um, it's my favorite from this little line and I think it can do everything man that is Gucci guilty love edition man um, this, is, this came out in 2020 again. You got um, ginger, kumquat, mandarin orange, pink pepper, lavender, geranium, rosemary, patchouli, vetiver, benzoin. A lot of, yeah, I had to get the notes off Frant uh, Fragrantica. Um, you can get this on FragranceNet. There's not a picture for it, but it's there, man. And it's like 60 bucks, which is way cheaper than retail. Retail is like 100 and something. But I, I absolutely dig this one. I love Gucci Guilty Intense. We've talked about that a lot. But I think this one, 
this one's amazing, man. It, 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 it's sweet, but it's also got that, man, I just love pink pepper, bro. I love bergamot, pink pepper, sandalwood. Those are like my favorite notes, man. So it's got two of the three and, oh man, I love it. Actually, bergamot's not even in this one, it says. So he's got pink pepper. Pink panther. Definitely not pink pepper. Pink pepper. Man, I love Gucci Guilty Love Edition, bro. Intense is great. I need to get the poor home Gucci Guilty. I need to get Gucci Guilty Black. I need to get, um, there's like a, like a, a dark brown one. I can't remember what it was called. I need to get that one too. But Gucci Guilty Love Edition is, it's a heavy hitter, man. It's a heavy hitter. It's a year round joker. It's a day in, day out joker. Wherever you want to go, whatever you got to do for that day, you can throw on Gucci Guilty Love Edition and be good to go. Same with all these. But if I had to recommend one, I think I may recommend this one. Like, what's the what's the greatest all around fragrance? Um, I mean, you can rec recommend any of these, but this is just one I recommend because, for one, it's not getting enough love, no pun intended. But it's been out, it's been out just a few months, like six months or something. It came out this year, so that may be why. Uh, but I just think it needs more love than it gets, man. Gucci Guilty Love Edition. This one is amazing, son. Smells so, so, so good. And it's affordable now, especially when you get on Fragrance Snap. It may be on Fragrance X too. But yeah, man, for sure. Gucci Guilty Love Edition. Really nice. So there was my list, man. 15 fragrances that I feel are very versatile fragrances. They're, they could be well, you know, day in, day out, year round. Whatever you got going on in, in your day. You can put one of these fragrances on and you'll be good to go, son. Y'all do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, be sure to click all. That way every time I post a video, you're gonna be the first to know about it, okay? The new album, available now on all streaming platforms. The songs that you hear before and after the, every video that I do are on that album. You just type in Chad Arms, C-H-A-D-A-R-M-E-S, 22. It's my 22nd album, I've been doing this for a minute. I appreciate all the support. Thank y'all so much. Yo,